Two years ago, I uploaded my first video starting my game dev journey. And yeah, some things didn't age well. The game is also still as alive as the Queen of England. On top of that, I even removed one game and video completely, but more on that later. My journey actually started over two and a half years ago when I needed money. So I was looking for a job and found this company where I got the choice of either joining the AI or virtual reality team. And you might have a slight guess what happened. Well, of course I chose AI. I mean, I had no experience in game development whatsoever. And obviously AI sounded way cooler. On my first day, I then met my new supervisor and he welcomed me to the VR team. Wait, what? Well, <laughs> in hindsight, I probably didn't make my choice clear enough about which team I wanted to join, but uh, this is how I accidentally became a solo game developer. They used this game engine called Unity, and through this guy called Brackies and his tutorials, I quickly learned the basics of game development. I didn't have any special mentoring or anything, so I was producing spaghetti codes so bad that even the Italians would be offended. While working there, I created my first game. I obviously can't really go into detail, but basically I got a very old VR project and was tasked to upgrade it to the newest Unity version. Fast forwarding a few months, I left the company and wanted to make my very own first game. When you look at any beginner's guide, they always tell you When you're first starting out, you need to keep your expectations realistic. Think of your first game as a learning exercise, not your masterwork. Your first game should be your crap game. So then started working on a small city building game. I always loved city building games like City Skylines, but as a casual player I felt pretty bored after like 10 hours with nothing new happening anymore. Meanwhile, I also loved watching videos from other YouTubers like RT Game, where they just destroyed the world and messed with their people. So inspired by that, I wanted to make a city builder where your choices directly impact the world and people of your city. I very quickly learned that this would not be a small project, but technically my first game was in VR, so what could stop me at this point? To keep myself motivated, I started a YouTube channel, but even with my impeccable humor, most of my views were just friends and bots selling their bitcoins. Also, my game was just pretty much in its infancy, and it mostly just consisted of random free assets I found on the internet. The biggest problem was the road system, because to be able to place roads, I would have to procedurally generate them at runtime. The thing is, procedural generation is a pretty late game skill that I basically tried to unlock during the tutorial. Luckily, Freya Homer made an extremely good video Video about procedural generation and without her I'm pretty sure that I would have already given up on my game so I'm extremely thankful to her. Being on a procedural generation high I also wanted to create randomly generated buildings but I scrapped that idea pretty quickly because they just looked bad. Instead I replaced the buildings with way better looking handmade ones which was definitely a very good decision in hindsight. The last thing I did in my first year was to finally create a traffic system and fill my city with a little bit more life. From here on out I continued fleshing out my game. I added disasters, all kinds of building types and a research system. I also created a Steam page so that people can wishlist my game early on, which is extremely important for small indie developers like me. But in the two years, I also created several other little games, including my most recent one, which I later hid from the public. The first project was Minecraft, but with physics. <laughs> Pretty original, I know, but I wanted to upload something different, because most people probably won't search for some unknown game on YouTube. And while I had a lot of fun playing around with physics, but the game, if you can even call it that, was pretty boring and you could basically just jump around and pick up blocks. The next game I made was basically just a shitpost about the terrible state of cyberpunk's AI, and to this day I can still proudly say that my AI was better than cyberpunk's. Then I was invited to my first and to this day only game jam, where each of us proposed a theme, and instead of just picking one, we just fused them all together. I made a little game called Cacti Defender, where Cacti tried to take your balloons. It was probably the most productive time I had for a while, and I was really happy with the result. But you see, for me game jams are like Tinder. You have fun imagining what it could become and start new projects, but in the end, you still have no game. What I want to say with this is that game jams are fun every now and then, but but I try not to get too much distracted from my main game all the time. Finally, I created my last now hidden project, which was GTA 6. I always wanted to give Unreal Engine another try, and coincidentally they released the Matrix Awakens demo, which was the perfect opportunity for that. It already had good graphics, driving and a living city. To make a true GTA game, only the shooting and story was missing. Which isn't a lot, right? Well, wrong. <laughs> Figuring out how Unreal and the demo works was quite difficult already. But on top of that, I had 
countless random bugs and the Unreal documentation wasn't really helpful. This resulted in me being extremely frustrated the whole time. But some cost fell asleep got the better of me and I just tried to push through to make a new video. But all that frustration kinda resulted in a not so good video, so I decided to unlist it. But if you really want to check it out, the link probably still exists somewhere on my Discord channel. This brings us to today, where I'm still working on a demo for City Walls and continue to add all the little things that are still missing. Will I ever make other side projects in the future after my last failure? Maybe. There's only one way to find out.